Morning all. So what we're looking at today is we're looking at the area of a circle. So the area of a circle, here's the formula. Make sure you remember how to use the formula. It's pi r squared, where r is the radius of a circle. Remember the radius goes from the centre to the outside of the circle. Centre to the outside. You might sometimes get a diameter, in which case you'll have to change it to a radius. So in our example, what we're doing is we're finding the area of a circle, radius of 6. We want it to one decimal place. So when you're doing questions like this, especially when you're not given a diagram, pick out the main parts. Make sure you're aware how accurate your answer has to be. So what we're looking at, we start off with the formula. We plug in our r equals 6 we get our answer. We write out the full calculator answer and then we go back and we make it into our one decimal place and we don't forget the units. Area, we're looking at units squared. Always remember units squared and it's always nice just to write a little sentence say, answering the question. Area of an annulus, so an annulus is a little bit is two circles on top of the other. It's got a funky little formula and in class I always suggest we just remember it's the big circle take away the little circle. Big R is the radius of the large circle, little r the small circle. So Allison's got two circles, concentric circles, with radiuses of 5 and 7. What is the area to the nearest square centimetre. So let's have a look. How do we go through and solve that? We start off by writing out what we have. Whoops. Wrong colour. What we have, then we write the formula on your formula sheet. Once we know it's on the formula sheet, Write down the formula, make the substitution. Here's my 7, here's my 5, chuck them both in, square them both. Again, write down the full calculator answer, then do the rounding. And lastly, the nice little sentence that sums it all up. We'll do a sector. So a sector is a part of a circle. So you've got a radius, you've got an angle, and the other one's another radius. So, it's very similar. If we got rid of that, it would be exactly the formula for the area of a circle. Theta is our angle, R is the radius. So, in this example, we've got a radius, an angle of 60, radius of 9, and we want one decimal place. Exactly the same way we solved the other questions, we write down what we got. We grab our formula from the formula sheet. Plug in the numbers, write out the full calculator answer, do the rounding, make sure you got the units. Units are important. Very, very important. That'll do us for this lesson. Have a good day.